I keep hearing Obama, and not just Obama, but also Plugs Biden and Harry Reid and all those other dimwits, saying that this is just common sense, guys. This is just common sense. You know, the universal background checks, common sense. Criminalizing private transfer of guns, common sense. Banning assault weapons, common sense. Regula regulating the magazine size, common sense. It's all common sense. But ladies and gentlemen, don't be deceived, because the truth is that none of this is common sense. Let's go through those. Universal background checks. These are anything but common sense. And Obama actually thinks that this will decrease crime in the country. This is just one of those things that only affects law-abiding citizens. I don't know how many times I have said that, but these things that Obama is proposing that he calls common sense isn't going after the criminals. It's going after people like you and me. Not a damn thing that he has proposed would have done anything to stop that shooter in Newtown, Connecticut. Nothing! Universal background checks. Oh yeah, so if you're a criminal and you possess a firearm or you want to get a firearm are you going to go through it legally and fill out a background check to get your firearm no because you break the rules anyway laws naturally don't apply to criminals so why our president thinks that background checks are going to solve anything is beyond me criminalizing the private transfer of guns if you have a father and he one day gives you his rifle that he had growing up, you will be classified by the federal government as a criminal. Just common sense. It's just common sense. But folks, what the hell does that have to do with what took place in Connecticut? Nothing. How is that going to de decrease crime in this country? It's not. It's not. It's just another burden on law-abiding citizens. An assault weapons ban. Why the hell do we need this? Oh, but Jason, why do you need an assault weapon anyway? What do you need it for? You don't need one to defend yourself. Last time I checked, it was the Bill of Rights, not the Bill of Needs. The Second Amendment says a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That's exactly what they're doing. Assault weapons ban, common sense. That's infringing on our rights. Who the hell is the federal government to tell us how to defend ourselves? What would an assault weapons ban do to stop that lunatic at Sandy Hook? He didn't even use an assault weapon. Then they're going after the magazine size limit. And of course, we got to go after the mentally ill. That's another phrase that I, I keep hearing over and over again. Go after the mentally ill. Well, what does that mean? Think about it. If they go after the mentally ill, first of all, how do they classify people as mentally ill? Are they going to have access to your health records? Probably. Probably. But they just say, oh no, it's common sense, just go after the mentally ill, that's okay. They never say how they're going to do it. And the reason they don't say that is because they know it's just bigger government budging their way into our lives. And then, of course, the magazine size limit isn't going to do a damn thing either. If you have a criminal standing there with a gun to your head. And you say, okay, you can shoot, but remember, there's a magazine size limit. You're talking about criminals here, ladies and gentlemen, who don't follow the law. I mean, is there some... This is just simple logic. I don't understand how all of these damn politicians don't understand it. And ladies and gentlemen, as, as sad as it is to admit, 
I will bet any amount of money that these mass shootings will continue. They'll continue for years to come, no matter what laws we enact. And when another one happens, the liberals will come out again and say, oh, we didn't go far enough. If we just keep taking more and more of your liberty, the federal government will handle it. We'll handle it. We'll keep you safe. That's what they're going to say. And each time something like this happens, they're going to go one step further. Taking away more and more of our liberty and not doing a damn thing to stop these criminals. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're not a perfect society. But we are the best society. We're a nation built on liberty and individual sovereignty. We're not perfect. These kind of things are always going to happen. But that doesn't mean that you sacrifice your freedom and your liberty. And quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen, we have a choice. The choice is between these two things, either a false sense of security or liberty. Factor Talk Radio.